drama surrounding the Star Wars standalone movies, new San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, and Kylo Ren crashes the MTV Movie Awards. This week on Star Wars Newsnet. <laughs> It's Lacey, and this is Star Wars Newsnet, the weekly show that covers the top trending stories and topics in the Star Wars galaxy. We've got some cool stories to cover, so let's go ahead and get this thing into hyperspace. Collider announced this week that a source said Disney has put all standalone projects on hold indefinitely, including ones in development like rumored Boba Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi movies. Now naturally, this was quite a shock to some fans, but fear not, we have an update. Following that report, Lucasfilm told ABC News that there are still multiple Star Wars films currently in development that have not been officially announced. Those projects are moving forward separate from an already announced Star Wars trilogy being overseen by The Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson and another series of movies from Game of Thrones producers David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. Since Lucasfilm has not said anything publicly yet, only time will tell what new projects are on the way. Meanwhile, the epic conclusion of the sequel trilogy, Episode 9, starring Daisy Ridley, Adam Driver, and John Boyega, is still on track for its release in December 2019. As we count down the weeks to San Diego Comic-Con, we've got more must-have Star Wars exclusives. First is a poured battle roller by Hot Wheels. Chewie's snack then turned friend has taken over the Millennium Falcon in this battle roller, and you can add it to your collection for $10. It will be available at San Diego Comic-Con, but for those who can't make it to California next month, it will also be available from MattelShop.com starting at 10 a.m. Pacific on June 26 next week. The next exclusive announced this week comes from LEGO, and it's a Han Solo and Chewbacca set from Solo, A Star Wars Story. Featuring our favorite besties from a galaxy far, far away, this limited edition 203-piece brick set reproduces the cockpit of the Falcon featured in the film. It comes in retro special packaging and will retail for $40. The Supreme Leader himself, Kylo Ren, took a break from ruling the galaxy this week by crashing the MTV Movie Awards. Well, kind of. Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver were both nominated for their roles in The Last Jedi this year, but the real award came in the form of a sketch with comedian host Tiffany Haddish. Haddish force bonded with Kylo from The Last Jedi in funny scenes that included jokes about them being together, Rey being a jealous girlfriend, and the now infamous shirtless scene. Let's just say Tiffany has a thing for high-waisted pants. Well, that's all I got for you this week. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for new videos every single week. And for the topics in this show, check out the description below. And for the latest Star Wars news, reviews, editorials, and more, check out StarWarsNewsNet.com. And of course, listen to me and the rest of the crew on the Resistance Broadcast, the official podcast of StarWarsNewsNet.com, every Monday and Thursday. Until next time, I'm Lacey, and you can find me on Twitter, at Lacey Gillerin. And as always, may the Force be with you. Thank <laughs> you.